Look how big this guy is. Look at that. Oh, oh my god. Oh, he's so ugly. <laughs> he's a good size though. Maybe on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> this day just keeps getting better and better. Oh, their little faces are so freaking funny. We can keep a stingray! Stingray time. Hey, dude. Erwin, how are you? Oh, hi, ho, oh, here we go. What's up, guys? All right, so today, got a day off. We're gonna go fishing. We're gonna go catch some fishes for my aquarium. I really want some puffer fish and whatever else we catch, honestly. So we're honestly having a day off. We're just gonna have fun on the boat. But before we go on the boat, someone sent us a package. The Isles family from Chatham, Ontario, Canada. It says, please open on camera. So that is what we're gonna do. Baby, you wanna uh, do the honors? Why am I opening it? They want you to, they want to see you open it. Because you were just struggling so bad. Huh? You were struggling, struggling. so bad. It was packaged it really well. Great package. Isles family, thank you guys. Sorry about the stickers. I collect them, Tyler Nolan's got the shop address on there. Christina Mary Isles. The stickers are so, so cute. Much. Yeah, there's so many stickers, it's awesome. <laughs> Watch your videos all the time. Just a small thank you for everything you do for your animals, for your friends. Congratulations to the both of you. Can't wait to meet her in the future videos. Thank you guys so much. To the crew. Aww. Oh, cute little onesies. My That's eyes. so cute. Right? Super cute, right? Little hat. <laughs> She's being decked out in sweet clothes all the time. Thanks to you guys. Appreciate it. And if you guys didn't know, if you guys want to send little baby gifts, um, our registry I'll have in the description down below now. So if you guys want to, whatever it is, we appreciate it. We'll shout you guys out in the videos. And thank you guys. You guys mean the world to us. Thank you so much. All right. Here we go. Ready. Wow. You gonna go to Got the weenies. Real nice. Hopefully it does not storm. All right, check this out, guys. You see all the puffer fish already? Holy crap. It's on, baby. On like Donkey Kong. All right, so this is what we're targeting right now is these puffer fish. Now, that trap is a little bit weird. I have a better one right here that I'm about to set up. And hopefully we can get a bunch of these guys for the fish tank, because the one that we got so far, that I just call it the fishing pole. He's really small, so I think he's gonna get eaten. But look at how many puffer fish are down here. They're all very hungry. Oh, yes. All right, let's see if these guys wanna eat. Yeah, catch them. Okay, so now I have this green trap down here, and we're gonna wait and see. But dude, this whole area is just full of life, dude. Look at these little tiny snappers. All sorts of little bait fish, sergeant majors everywhere. This spot is really cool, and it's covered with little puffer fish, which is just what we want. Check it out. So they're all back around checking this thing out. They're just circling the trap, trying to figure out how the heck to get the bait inside of it. They can't really seem to figure it out. They're trying to grab it through the screen. Look at it. Look at how many puffer fish are down here. Oh my God, I just want some big ones. That would be perfect. Look at all of them. Holy crap. They just gotta figure out how to get inside of it. All right, so I resorted to a new tactic. So I have the, I got both of the traps right here, but they can't seem to grasp the uh, the idea of swimming into it. So literally what I've been doing is I'm hand lining the bait. You see that? I just hand line the bait with the, with the net underneath it. And look, watch, they swim right up into the net. And then I scoop them out. Let me see inside that bucket. Let me show you. Oh, oh my God. It's perfect! So it's like exactly what we came out here for. Perfect species and everything, literally to the dot. Oh my god, there's so many. Yeah, I just want to wait for like a big one to come along. Yeah. Looks like a big one's over here. That's a good size. Look at this. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, he's so <laughs> ugly! He's a good size though! Oh, they're bright orange eyes. These things are so freaking pretty, dude. I love these puffers. They're awesome. All right, let's get them in the bucket. Need, just need some more freaking bait here. You know what I mean? Let's get a good chunk so we can get, I really want like a big one. That's what, I, that's what we're aiming for right now. Look, we got, we got G finding crabs. Find me some good stuff, babe. The wieners are chilling. Boats looking good. Ooh, nothing's in the trap yet though. They can't figure out how to get inside of it. You see that? 
not a single fish in these stupid traps. He's trying to get in. He can't figure it out. Oh, yeah. This trap has two big ones in it. Holy crap. Yes, these are perfect size. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Got some good ones in here. Holy crap. Dude, there's so many puffers. Look how big this guy is. Look at that. Look at those bright orange eyes. How freaking cool are these guys? I love puffer fish, man. They're very cool. The only thing that sucks about these guys is hopefully they leave my crabs and they leave my snails alone that are in the tank because they are known to eating invertebrates. So hopefully we don't have any issues with those. And if they do eat them, that is totally fine because we could just get some more, okay? That is the whole purpose of this new 300 gallon tank is just to have like a super dope, like local setup. Like I just want everything that's in it caught straight from South Florida where we live. All a bunch of really cool stuff. So let's get back to the house and get these guys in the tank now. Look at this. See my finger? It's freaking bleeding right now. One of the puffer fish bit me, dude. They have beaks. They have very hard beaks and they eat invertebrates. Oh my God, look at that little stingray right there. Holy crap, he's so cute. I don't want to scare him. He's so cool, but look at this little stingray right here. Oh my God, how awesome. Let's see if we can sneak up and get him. Got his ass. Look at that. Hey, dude, we got a little stingray. And the big stingray is back. Look at him. This is just too freaking cool. This day just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> Look at him. He's just chilling. So all the bait that we used to catch all the puffer fish, we obviously didn't want to waste it and stuff. I didn't want to refreeze it or anything, so I figured I would just let it all go and just let everybody have a smorgasbord. And then this big stingray came back to eat it all. Look how big he is compared to my foot. Like, look at that. Big boy. What's up, dude? How you doing? Guess what? We can keep the stingray! Oh, my voice cracked. <laughs> oh, you love when my voice cracks. <laughs> all right, so did a little research. Yellow spotted stingrays are unregulated in Florida, which means you can keep them. That is super tight. So we're gonna see how well he does in the 300 gallon because he's so pretty, right? What? Oh, I'm so stoked. You're not stoked? I'm so excited. So excited. And then we kept five puffer fish also. So you're allowed to keep with a saltwater fishing license you're allowed to keep five of each species, 20 organisms total. So you can keep up to 20 animals, five each of one species. Right? Great. Yes. All right. All right, so we just got these guys acclimated. Everybody's nice and happy inside of here. But I hate filming with this freaking blue Altenix. So I'm gonna see if this even does a little bit of a difference right here. Oh my God, wow. Wow, it actually does make a huge difference. Look at that. Wine fish, everything's doing good. So I got some pallies in here. See some zoanthids, they're doing just fine. Cujo, he's real dark right now, so he's hard to freaking see. What else we got going on in here? We got some sun polyp. He is massive. I got him on one of my dives. Super cool crab. So hopefully the stingray does not mess with our crab. Cause we love the crab, right? I oh, know the crab is awesome. Herman, Herman the crab. We're acclimating these guys and then we're gonna get all five of the puffer fish in. So we're naming them after what? It, it's in, in sync, right? Yes. So there's five puffer five. fish. Uh, what? JC, JT, Joey, Lance, Chris. Oh! It's the Backstreet Boys! And then the Stingray. What do we name the Stingray? Erwin. The Backstreet Boys. Oh no, it's in sync. My bad. See, I don't even know. I don't even know the bands, but at least I know their names. Right? We got the boys. I'm gonna put them in the tank. My Mr. Crab, Herman. He is. So cool! Oh my God, this is awesome. Look at these guys. So we got five keepers. 
We got some spotted puffers in here. And then we got the yellow spot stingray, who is so freaking cool. Now, we've been home for probably about an hour now. And I've been acclimating everyone slowly, putting a little cup in at a time. So let's get these guys slowly into the water and uh, hopefully everybody gets along. At first, we caught a couple really small puffer fish. So I didn't want to bring the small ones home and have a possibility of Cujo murking them. So we kept only the biggest ones, five of the biggest. Now I just gotta be really careful, I don't wanna get barbed by this stingray inside of here. But dude, oh my god, look how cool these freaking fish are. I got bit by one of them earlier. So let's hopefully, let's not get, oh, oh my god! <laughs> get out of here! Let's not get bit by another one again, but look how cool. Look how freaking cool these guys are. All right, let's bring them JT. Whoa! Dude! Look how cool! Which one is this, JT? Was this JT? JT's was the first one. Yo! Cujo! Get away, bro. Don't you dare mess with JT, bro. You mind your manners too, dude. All right, next up, Lance. We're just gonna get all the puffer fish in really quickly. Oh my God, don't you bite. Oh, why? They keep trying to bite. All right, so far, so good. Everybody's getting a little. We got JT, JC, Lance is in there. Chris, Chris is next. Yo, I gotta watch out for that freaking barb, dude. I do not want to get stung by the freaking stingray. All right, Chris, see you later, my dude. So cool, man. And I love their personalities, especially when you're they get really excited to eat. They just come up. You can feed them right out of your hands. But we'll do we'll do plenty of feeding videos. Or at least show you guys in the videos. Here we go. This is Joey. Yeah. This is Joey. Joey's the last one. Bang bang. Oh, Cujo. Relax, my dude. Stingray time. Hey, dude. Erwin. How are you? All right, so this tank right here, the reason why I like it a lot for the Stingray, I think it will be pretty cool. It has this lip, all right? So on the front and on the sides, it has like this three inch lip that if you were to come up the side right here, they'll hit this kind of like how the Gator Pond is out there. But the only thing is this back part does not have a lip. So with the Stingray, I'm gonna have to watch out with him shooting up the back here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some of that black PVC that we make the cages with, put a nice six inch strip of black PVC all the way down the back of this tank. So that way, Erwin cannot escape. All right, without further ado, I'm excited right now. How freaking cool. Now remember, they got a venomous barb on their tail. So you just wanna be really careful. You don't wanna just start grabbing them. So let's get in here. Oh my god. How insanely cool is that? Erwin. You're so cool, dude. Cujo. You don't want none of that, bro. You ain't want that smoke, bro. Oh my god, I love it. Looks like little alien. Oh, their little faces are so freaking funny dude how cool is that oh my god that is just the absolute coolest looks like there's a little alien under there look at it oh my god so cute hey, how many <laughs> <laughs> all five of them just chilling that is so hilarious good. that is awesome <laughs> Hello, boys. How are you doing? So freaking cool. They're like all the same size. Nice. These guys are so cool with those bright orange eyes. Cheetah print almost. Looks like they have like clown faces on their backs. Really cool. Everybody's doing really well. Look at those bright orange eyes. And then, yo, check out. Erwin in the back. And Cujo guarding the cave. Look at these guys doing great. So cool. Alright guys. We're out! Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Right? No. Come on. Come on, you're always telling me how much you want to do YouTube all the time. <laughs>
Alright, All right. I hope you guys had fun. We had a blast. Until next time. Thanks for watching. On the road, headed back to New Orleans. Driving in the country, past old timey scene. Big birds were singing in the tall willow tree. Mighty fine. Three words written on the paper bag. I miss you was written in a message in black. Thrown in a van to thousand miles back. A better time. And how many souls and times that I've told. Places it had want to be.